my next trick I'm going to try to run the hydraulic lines through this little wall it's a plastic wall pretty hard to see but uh, here it is it's a little lip um, on the uh, gutter or downspout where it's horizontal so let's see if I can put a couple holes through there I used a uh, one and a quarter spade bit to actually do that. Just going real slow so it didn't tear anything up. But it's important that you have these little hooks on the end because that's what cut through the plastic for me. Uh, there were two layers of plastic at that spot, so I lifted out each one as it, you know, got almost completely uh, cut through. Okay, I've got a hole drilled in the uh, trunk to move the hydraulic lines and the one electric wire. Let's see if I show you where this is. So. Okay, I've got my hydraulic lines and electric wire running through the new hole that I made. Let me show you what that looks like. But first, here's something I wish I would have done from the very beginning. I put little zip ties on, uh, red for the odd side, and I marked that uh, on the hydraulic unit, identical. A numbering system you can see the 1412 identical numbering system to the unit I took out uh, from the BMW um, and uh, I left the zip ties on the black one so I could you could see what they are here's what the Mustang pump looks like installed I put it flat against the wall at the back um, I made a Lexan uh, plate to fasten some bolts to with a bend at the top and I use the hook part of velcro up top that's enough to keep it on but I also put a, some velcro strips behind the vertical part I might make a cover sometime um, I see that John Marie Antoine put the motor sticking straight out from the wall uh, that would require getting a good bracket onto the metal wall which I wasn't prepared to do at this point in time maybe sometime in the future I'll do that That'll do it. All right, here we go. Mustang 2014 hydraulic unit substituted in a 2007 BMW Z4. Let's see what we got. And up again. Looky there. Much faster.